Greetings, this is Alaya from the Pleiades. 12,000 years ago, many different extraterrestrials with different skin color were living on Earth. They had many atomic wars, they were misusing energy, they were destroying the nature, and because of that, the magnetic pole of the Earth changed and the continent of Atlantis sank into the Atlantic Ocean. After that, extraterrestrials left the planet. The radioactivity of those wars caused mutations to humans. The lifespan, intelligence and memories was decreased and people were living in wild tribes. After hundreds of years, extraterrestrials were visiting the Earth again. Some were benevolent and some were negative. The benevolent ones were teaching Earth humans the cosmic laws. After all this time, only a few descendants of the ancient civilizations still have the memory of our spiritual teachings. Fanatic religions and secret societies have killed millions of those descendants in the last 600 years. But they still are trying to teach the modern earth humans, their younger brothers, how to live in harmony with nature. Because if you destroy the nature, you destroy yourself. Everything is connected with everything. I'm here, we all are here, to give a warning. I'm speaking on behalf of us all to send out a message to all the younger brothers, and I'm going to have to say it in a way that they can understand. Not just a, a message for the men who've come, and whatever place, wherever it is they've come from, not just for the men who've come. I want the whole world to listen to the warning that we speak to you. The Great Mother taught. She taught us right and wrong. And still we have not given up living in the way and knowing right from wrong as she taught us. We remember her teaching and live by it. The Great Mother taught and taught. The Great Mother gave us what we needed to live and her teaching has not been forgotten right up to this day. We all still live by it. But now they are taking out the Mother's heart. They are digging up the ground and cutting out her liver and her guts. The mother is being cut to pieces and stripped of everything. From their first landing they have been doing this. The great mother too has a mouth, eyes and ears. They are cutting out her eyes and ears. If we lost an eye we will be sad. So the mother too is sad and she'll end and the world ends if you do not stop digging and digging. Now I'm sending this message and I ask, can they think, listening to this, that it must be us, the older brothers, who have destroyed everything? I know they won't think that. I want to give some advice to tell the real truth to the younger brother. If they go on like this and they don't change their ways at once, they'll see what will happen. They'll see what will happen. I don't know when the world will end, but their looting will destroy it. They've taken so much. They've taken the guardians of the sun and stars. The world will go black. We look after nature. We are the mummers and do this here. And we mummers see that you are killing it by what you do. We can no longer repair the world. You must. The mummers want to teach us how the world was made. They say that we mutilate the world because we do not remember the great mother. She is not a distant god. She is the mind inside nature. In the beginning, the Great Mother divided up the earth. She sent you far away, far away, far away. And in this place, this place, she put us. Then the younger brother came back again to this side of the world. He came back again. And he started to destroy and he started to kill us. Humans need water. They have to have water to live. The earth is the same. It was made perfect by Sarankwa, but now it is weak and diseased. The animals die, the trees dry up, people become ill. Many new illnesses will appear, there will be no cure or medicine for them. And the reason is that younger brother is violating fundamental principles continually, totally, drilling, mining, extracting petrol, minerals, stripping away the world. This is destroying all order and damaging the world. BBC, tell the younger brother, open your eyes. Hear the mama's law and story, learn how things really are. We must explain these things. 
We shouldn't threaten or insult, but it's good that we speak. We must show them how we work and how we offer our tribute to the Great Mother, so that they know that we are here working for the younger brother too. The Mamas work not only for the Kogis, but for all the people in the world. The Mama stands up. The Mama is not angry, not even with younger brother, although he did harm. The Mama must look after younger brother and elder brother and the animals, and the plants, and all that is natural. Because the Mama has a duty to care for the future of all kinds of creatures, and all kinds of people. The sea, which the Indians believed gave birth to all life, had kept them apart from Europe's iron kingdoms but the sea carried ships. They landed in 1514 and their commander had a document read out on the beach. I assure you that with the help of God, I will make war on you in every place and in every way that I can. And I will subject you to the yoke and obedience of the church and their highnesses. And I will take your persons and your women and your children and I will make them slaves. I will take your goods and I will do you all the evils and harms. People used to live in peace all over this land. We, the elder brother, had no problems with the younger brother at all. Always in peace, in peace, in peace. That's how it was. And then he arrived. Younger brother arrived and he started to kill us and to destroy. They set dogs on us and we were terrified and the people panicked and didn't know what to do and just ran wherever they could. That's how it was. The balanced pattern of life in the Sierra collapsed as tens of thousands of refugees fled up the mountain. Most died of starvation. We lived in peace over this whole land and I ask myself now, ah, how could they have come here? How could they have done these terrible things? They made us run away and hide. We ran into the mountains. We were so terrified of their dogs and their guns. And they chased us and chased us and chased us and stole our land. And when I think that they came here only to kill us, to destroy, No, 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 it's unbelievable. They stole from us. They took our land so that they could live here. Wasn't that how it was? We once had golden bowls for divination. Gold images, gold oracles, all these things. We prophesied with gold. We had many things. Younger brother took it all. So now we sorrow, we are weak, and see the earth is decaying, it is losing its strength because of your greed. You take gold and all the minerals out of the earth. Because you take out so much gasoline and minerals, the earth is becoming steadily weaker. Around here, it's yellow. It should be green. These little bushes once covered the whole area. Now, they're perishing. The water has gone. The paramo is drying out. There used to be snow visible all around here. Now the snow is retreating very rapidly. When the Kogi talk about the heart of the world dying, what's frightened them is the death of this area, the paramo, because when this dies, everything below it that depends on it will have to die. That's what they mean when they say that they know that unless we do something, the world is coming to an end. The consciousness of Earth humans have to change in order to prevent natural disasters. In my videos, part 4 and 10, you can find meditations to do the necessary energy work.